Good afternoon and welcome back to Hollywood Beach, Florida. We're here at the Garfield Street Paddleball Courts for the 2023 Epcon Beach Bash. Up next, we have our men's classic professional racquetball tour, CPRT Finals. We've got Thomas Gerhardt and Joe Young. We'll be playing against Rocky Carson and Sudzy Monchik. Our referee for this match is Marcus Gravier. On the mic with me, we've got Nick Lebowski. Hello, JT. It is gorgeous weather here on Hollywood Beach. Joe Young getting ready to serve. Zero, zero. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, Sudji is going to continue to be able to come in from the back. He's been doing it all weekend and having no trouble at all. On paper, that shouldn't work, but Sudji, Sudji's skill set isn't on paper. It's out here playing ball. Looks like it ought to be a kill, but I predict a close game. Both Joe and Tom are used to playing at a very high level, and both Rocky and Sudzy are not quite that used to playing one wall. But so far, their athleticism and their ability to strike the ball better than everybody You know, the thing about when you hammered the night before. Yeah. This chair is already fucking screaming. I thought it was soft. I go behind. You're drinking Belgian. Hey, Joe, obviously you're wrong. It happened to. That's the, they're having a little discussion about the drive serve zone rule. It is the same indoors and out here. You cannot serve between your yourself and the side wall, or in this case, the side line, a drive serve, unless you have at least three feet between your swing, the ball, etc. In that case, Sudzy was in that drive serve zone lane. And that's why he was called down. It's not a do-over. The ball is out. That area is out of play. That's what those little black hash marks are for. If you're at home and you're wondering which lines and what all those lines are for, they're for other sports. The lines we use are the very front line is a 15-foot short line, and the very back line is 36 feet back as the long lines, the all the other lines, the two red line and the middle yellow line, nothing for our games. One serving two, Rocky Carson coming in to serve. <laughs> oh, good eye. Half out. Sudsy up to serve. It is a uh, cool 75 degrees or so right now. We're in the shade. Absolutely gorgeous. Sudji left that serve up a little bit. The, the serve he was hitting in his previous match was just sizzling and never got more than an inch and a half off the ground. That one he knows he left up. Wow! Just like Tom left that one up. Can't, can't give that serve to, to, to Rocky. <laughs> Tied out, still tied up at two apiece. 
Proxy going back to the drive curve. Beautiful, beautiful drive serve. Two bounces for it got to the players. Good ball. Right now? 4-2. Great job by Joe getting a racket on that. Unfortunately, Four, two. up too high over the wall. They all know that they're on the court deck, right? Some good racquetball going on there. Rocky back to the drive serve. He puts this weird spin on it every now and then. Thomas! Thomas Edmonds! <laughs> All right, says he can't serve between him and the wall from there. Him and the, there's no wall. Him and the sideline. Okay, Tom's known for a really well placed deep Out. overhead serve. He usually hits it with precision. He tries to find a backhand. Again, I, I don't know if finding Studgy's backhand is going to be a good idea. A couple of good rallies. The, the front looks a little tense right now. Missing some shots they normally make. Joe with an excellent drive serve. Oh, Ross puts the off the court. Yeah, right. Well, I just feel like the elbow is everywhere. Six four. Oh, it's a thing you wear. Get awareness. Rocky tries to put that slice on his drive serve sometimes, and when he hits it, it's perfect, but quite often on that serve, He'll lift it out. So again, the Sudsy serve is being left a little bit up. I think they might have got a little put to sleep with their last match. Well, not really. Not put to sleep. I stand corrected. Uh, the last match was Robert and uh, Will. But uh, they were hitting it perfect against them. They were hitting it much harder, much lower than they are right now on their serve. That ties us up at six apiece. I think a lot of Tom's ability to get points is going to be his ability to hit the ball about as deep as the red line. If he can get it between the red line and the back line, it's going to be great. But if he hits it into the area in front of that middle yellow line, both Rocky or Sudsy are going to jump on it if he hits this overhead. Not overhead. <laughs> That's what Russ <laughs> There you go. Drop the hammer. <laughs> oh, there's one. Shout out, bro. Oh, my God. Now, bro. I guess they're serious, leaving a little bit of DNA on the court. Rocky sticking to the drive serve. Mulligan short. Mulligan used. One uh, per game, each team can get a redo. We call it a mulligan in the CPRT division. On a short or a long serve. Hmm. 
Seven serving six. Seven serving six. Quick adjustment for some blood. Joe Young is bidding off an elbow for when he dived a little bit earlier. Marcos Gravy or the ref. Knows the rules very well. There should be very little arguments about his ability to call the game correctly. Way better as hours pass, I'm doing better and better. It's really hard to explain how gorgeous it is right now outside. There's no humidity. There's barely a cloud in the sky. It's cooler. There's a nice breeze. Got a nice crowd out here watching this match. Here at the APCON 2023 Beach Bank. I want to thank our sponsors, KWM Gutterman, Aid Solutions, LPL Financial, Soda Man, of course, the IRT, the LPRT, the Demonstic, the CPRT, Daily Racquetball, Pro Racquetball Stats. Start him up, right? Of course, Protenix and Gearbox. Oh, you're bleeding from that dive? Oh. Uh, well, yeah. Doesn't that suck? You didn't even get it. <laughs> <laughs> There's tape and gauze in. There's gauze and tape. No, there's gauze and tape in the first aid kit if you want it. All right, boys. Seven six for your All right, Rocky, going back to the drive, sir. Okay. Eight serving six. Good turn to my mother. Joe jumps on that one, puts it away. Beautiful serve by Sudzy. Brand new today. He hadn't done that serve from the middle of the court behind him all day. First time I've seen it. Now he's just surgical. You, you can see the extra pop and it's staying down low compared to earlier in the game when he was leaving it up and uh, not quite as intense as he is right now. You can see the ball that little bit hotter and a little bit lower. A little harder and a little lower. Seven, six. Can't really talk. Out. Oh, come on. Be aggressive, Tommy. Let's go. Think aggressive. Think lion. 12 serving six. Such, he just said I was going for the Z. That's hilarious. What? He's younger than me. The Simpsons, Simpsons character who looks like him. All right, it's now or never for these guys, I believe. They're going to need to make a run. At 7 12, they can't let it go by without any points to climb up. That's the point. 
All right. We've got some tape and gauze. Put a wristband on it. We'll be right back. Just like that. have a wristband? Welcome back to the 2023 Apcon Beach Bash. Of course. <laughs> All right, hold on, please. Get the shot, right? Twelve. First server. Hold on. Guess he's using his mulligan. Called one to the short ball. Twelve. Mulligan used. Oh, good shot. Beautiful shot. That was extremely tough. Hard angle. And that's cool off to the page. Because he's playing amazingly relaxed out here this whole weekend, or at least so far. A few sprays like that, but overall he's been really well dialed into the game. Well, you know. Gotcha. Great shot by Joe Young. And well. Joe's a very streaky player. If these guys let Joe get confident and get hot, those kind of shots would start going in. If you give Joe a little bit of confidence, he's going to run with it. Rocky, I'm surprised, sticking to the drive server. I thought he'd put a few of those boomer overheads in, but he knows better than me. Quick. <laughs> Wait, who's going to be wearing it? Great play. Okay, got it. Going back to the drive serve. Funny shot, Rock. Beautiful shot down line. 14 10. Oh. Damn it, Joe. Got one right here. All right. We've got 14-10. First game point. 14-10, second server. So you back to the drive. Can't let Sudsy or Rocky have that ball in the front court. Got to move him back. We'll play, we'll up, play first game. Back on there. Uh, go the should be done. And we'll be back in just a few right, moments. Rips it open. Yeah. I'll hey, live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we're in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. 
For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marbles. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever-increasing need for our veterans. Go to livelikejohn.us and help us fulfill our mission. I'm Carla Munoz and I play with passion. I play to be a role model for the kids. I play for the adrenaline. I play for the love of the game. Welcome back to the 2023 APCON Beach Bash. We have Rocky Carson and Sudzy Monchik against Marcos Gravier and Tom, no, not Marcos, uh, Joe Young and Tom Gerhardt with Marcos Gravier as the ref. Good Sudsy well, had no trouble with it, but I think uh, Tom is on the right track to change to the overhead because they haven't had a lot of trouble with his drive serve. Wow. <laughs> I think that's going to help, Joe, because it's, it proves he can do it, and it's going to make Sudsy. One zero. Two good plays in a row from Joe Young. Oh, the other game ended. I guess this is game two. My bad. I thought it was a timeout. I know. Well, this could get interesting. Joe likes to talk a little bit, and he just yelled where it says he at. I think if the two of them get to talking to each other during this match, it'll be quite entertaining. Two, no. Two zero. Replay two zero. Let's see with the uncharacteristic skip. One two. Yeah, Joe was actually offering to give him a, a a hinder. He thought he held up a little bit. And Joe was like, no. I mean, uh, Sudge was like, no. I'm good. Classy move, Sudge. One zero. So we got Tom and Joe feeling a little bit. Getting ahead 5-0. 
Five zero. <laughs> Using the mulligan, it was an appeal on the short serve. Marcos agreed with the call, it was short serve, and uh, using the mulligan. Out. Five zero. Five zero. Bill's got to be careful stepping onto the court like that. When Rocky's on the court and hitting it down the line and he steps into that down the line, he's A, at risk of getting hit, and if he does get hit, it'll be a penalty. Oh. On Joe for stepping into the straight-in shot. In one wall, you're not allowed two shots, or you're not uh, entitled to two shots to clear out. You're entitled to just one, and that's the perpendicular straight to the wall. And if you're off the court... On serve, and you, you're the server's partner, and you step into the court, into somebody's straight in shot to the wall, then you've created a hinder, and it's a penalty. Uh, no, it's enough. No, no stop. <laughs> One five. Marcos taking control. He saw I saw you take a shot. I saw you skip it. No call. Still going back to the overhead. I, it's just not going to be a successful trying to overhead anywhere near Rocky's forehand. He's been playing long enough that overhead serves, playing outdoors long enough that these overhead serves are, are just not going to be trouble for him. Not in the middle of the court on his forehand. I'm not sure. Two serve seven. I'm expecting Rocky to try to make a run right now. Out. Again, for the people just turning in, the very front line is the short line. The very back yellow line is the long line. The two red lines and the middle yellow line don't mean anything in racquetball. They're all for paddleball. Not. Sudgy from 38 feet back. Chest high, kills it. Flat roll. Four seven. Second turn. You know Rocky's taking it serious when he's out here diving. See, now we're seeing this, the drive serve that I saw last match with Sudzy hitting that extra juice on it. And hitting it a little lower and flatter. I thought it was out. 
you want to go back to the so you get one mulligan a game, and that's on longs and shorts. You get to get a second track. We use that in the CPRT division only. It's the CPRT staple rule. A lot of people at home might think that's a penalty or you know but out here people are acting in good faith doing the best they can to stay out of the way not camping out and not stepping into the way uh, we're generally going to be doing that ball over and i thought it was appropriate i didn't think there should have been any penalty there right right yeah yeah A great get by Sudzy out off the court. Seven up, second server. Sudzy again had his drive serve lay up a little bit when he keeps it really low and flat. It's been unstoppable. Up, Rocky just basically overpowering. He's got a little bit too much juice on the ball for Tom right now. But then it's great at him, and Tom hasn't been able to bat it back to a position to not just give another setup. I think Joe saved them. They got away with that because Rocky just hit it out. But I think Joe hit an out ball there in the middle of that rally. I have a feeling we're going to see the real heat out of Sudsy on this drive, sir. And he did. He went for it, and, and Tom just laid it right back down. Straight in, straight out, and that is so hard. Joe is uh, a former Beach Bash champion. He's played a ton of one wall out here. He's really, really comfortable. We don't call him a, you know, a three wall guy or a four wall guy. He's played everything for many, many years. And Tom back home has a one wall court. Past five or six years since, or maybe a little longer since Stratton Woods in Virginia had one wall courts. Uh, you know, Tom's a one wall player now too. We played it back home all the time in Virginia. <clears throat> Got to be in the same neighborhood. <laughs> and the efforts so. Yeah, I'm second that. Seven up. Go through him. Seven turning seven. Wow. That's twice in a row. Sudsy hit beautiful serves, and Tom was able to lay it back down. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he shouldn't be hitting it hard and low. Gosh. You know, that is such a hard Good shot time. for an uh, indoor player to hit without hitting it out. I mean, Sudsy laid that ball down and hit around near the red line on a passing shot straight down the middle of the husband and wife. And all of us hit that out. Okay. Hard to tell from this angle, so I don't have any. That's actually not a good But he can't. 
doesn't matter for him. I could, I could kind of agree. He just didn't. He saw it. Still two. He turned. He didn't agree. <laughs> kind of agree. Yeah. We halfway agree. Joe, I think, is making a mistake talking to Rocky. I have a feeling, you know, it, it's not going to rattle Rocky in the least bit. If anything, it's going to motivate him to play a little bit more aggressive. But hey, it's outdoors. What makes it fun? Beautiful shot by Joe. That's the shot he has. He's got really soft hands in the front court, and his back end is very consistent. And when people, players, opponents are in the back court, Joe's able to lay it down with some angle. So it's already on second or third bounce by the short line. And that's what he just did this idea. Just like that with what Tom did with his back end. Uh, Tom Gerhardt is ecstatic that Joe Young, his partner, said something nice to him during the match. Interesting. Those guys are having a good time. They know they're the underdogs. They're out there against Brock Carson and Sudzi Munchik and competing at a really high level and making this a match. Thank you. I try to let it bounce. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wave to him. Walk right out of the beat. 8 11. 8 serving 11. The one year that Joe Young and Sebastian Franco won the Beach Bash around 2015, all the way until 2023, stood as the only time a non-New Yorker won the Beach Bash. Uh, last year was the second time when it was Javier Mar and Mercado, Mario Mercado. But, uh, you know, it's been dominated, this tournament, by Robert Sostra and Freddie Marirez, by Nelson Dita and Richie Miller. David Blatt and Will the Warrior won one year. But otherwise, it's it's really been either Robert and Freddie or Richie and Nelson for years and years and years until the last four or five years. But Joe was the Joe and uh, Sebastian were the first two non New Yorkers to be able to win this tournament. All Mulligan's you, 11-9. You know, Tom changed it up on that. He wasn't going for the low serve. He purposely lifted it up to try to get it jammed at Sudsy right at his feet and make him play a short hop. Being that little extra high made it harder for Sudsy to short hop it back. Well, Gary, I want to test you. I'm kidding. I would never use such language. 13 9. They can smell their chance to pull this to tiebreaker right now. And like I had said about Go, once Go gets going, if he gets his confidence, he's a shooter. And when he shoots, he just he has those soft hands, those soft shots. They're really, really tough to get when he's on. I think Rocky's about to change. No, not one overhead serve this match. I'm surprised. Not yet. Ten four. Out. Try it, Tom. Come on, here's the Let's go. 
Looks like so he's still going after Tom. Right. Second game point opportunity here for Gerhardt and you know. Now, at the AF tournament, at game point, Joe served to the right, out the door on Robert Sochro. I thought he was going to go for it again, just like that, and he did. Wow, breaker. Oh, all right. So Joe showing a lot of chutzpah to go for that serve, the hard angle out the right door to end the game. Good play, Tom. All right. Players have a couple minutes between games. We'll come back when they're ready. Welcome back to Tiebreaker here at the APCON 2023 Beach Bash. Here on the gorgeous historic courts at Garfield Street on Hollywood Beach. Tiebreaker. Do you want to peel? Absolutely. Are we appealing or It's a little early to have arguments, but I, I was clearly a block. Says he would have been there a second earlier. He held up. He called it right away. <laughs> zero, zero. Ah, it's nice, Joe. People don't realize it, but Joe shoots off his backhand better than his forehand. He just go. turned away from a forehand to hit that backhand. Uh -oh. He ran around it like I run around my backhand to get a forehand. One zero. Oh. 
a little discord. <laughs> I guess that was short lived of Joe telling something what nice to what Tom. What Just a little frustration showing. One two. This one. You go into it. You know, I think it's probably the coldest. I got you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Two zero. We have three zero. Three Joe zero. and Tom feeling a little bit of confidence right here, but I have a feeling that you're, we're going to see Rocky and Sud dig in pretty soon. Well, there you go. Pretty soon came pretty soon. Zero three, first yeah. ever. And I'm, I'm still seeing Rocky's going to stick to the drive serve only. I would have thought he'd mix that in, but you know he knows better than me. Out. Tom tried running around his backhand to hit that as a forehand. I don't know if that was the right move. I think Rocky's eyeballing out that right door pretty soon on his drive serve. One three. Here in tight quarters. One, three. I think that's the right call. Bang, bang. Did his best to get out of the way. Couldn't. And that's generally what we, that's the serve I thought Rocky was going to do. The one out that right door. Tom keeps cheating to the middle so he can hit those drive serves with his forehand in the middle, which is exposing him off to the right. Rocky's outdoor experience there, going straight in, straight out, hitting that flat. Three, three. Oh. If you're watching at home, you might not realize how small these courts are compared, compared to an indoor court. And the short line that they're standing behind is a 15-foot short line. And the very back line is only 36 feet compared to 40 feet. So it's really hard to keep the ball in the court. So that's exactly what happens. Sit around and talk all day. Three, three, four, three. One, two. Two, three. Three, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. All right, Joe, let's go. Come on. Yeah, I need sign and meeting. Second server, tied up at three apiece. You want to play it? Well. <clears throat> yeah, man of all day. No, Bobby. Then again, you're like you learn all the tally that you learn. Four three. What? We're allowing for a wipe. That's something that comes out of New York paddle ball. Uh, really, it's just when we're outdoors and everybody's so sweaty and it's hot, we allow for a 10-second wipe pretty much any time during the game, as long as people aren't abusing it and using it to stop play and, you know, using it as a timeout, uh, you know, being respectful to the rest of the players on the court, huddle over, dry your glove, dry your arm, get back on the court, 10-second wipe, we're all good. And that's not a war rule. That's a special rule for the beach bag. Um, it's hot and humid out here. And it's just better for everyone to allow them a 10 second wipe. Three, three. Three, three. Three, three. All right. Another three point run by the team in the back. Out. Come on, Tom, let's go. Uh, that serve, I thought Tom would have should have made him pay, but I think he got a little too aggressive. We saw how the ball came up; it wasn't as much pop as normal. But hey, maybe you know, Rocky did a little off speed on purpose. 
the make com hit that out, that was an unforced error. Sudzy being Sudzy going forward, not allowing the ball to bounce, taking it out of the air like he's been playing one wall for his whole life because he has. I just found that out today that uh, Sudzy grew up playing a lot of one wall before he even went indoors. And he's chosen his game. He's He's been able to hit some incredible tops from all over the court. Oh. Five six first server. Yeah. Good night, Ed. Oh. oh. Right, one more, guys. Let's go. Five, six, second, seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. Fred Butter, Rock. All right, a little bit of a seesaw battle here. It was 3 0, 3 3. 6-3, six, 6-5. Six, See what Tom does with his serve. I think he's going to bring it deep. Nope. Hey, now. Dudgy in the front court. Amazing. 6-5, 7-7. Nice job. Good job, Joe. Five. Nice. Wow. Sudsy from face high, back of the court, lay it down flat. Five, seven. Beautiful shot. Any questions? Six, seven. A total battle here. Every point is hard fought. Six, seven in the tiebreaker. Rocky serving. Seven apiece. We didn't see this coming. I think we're going to end up 11 10. I just don't know who's going to win. Oh. You know, that might seem. Uh, a little crazy if you're an indoor player back home to see all those lobs and things, but it's really just like a ceiling ball. So just be a little patient, get the ball back, get the ball back, and quite often the other team will hit it out for you while you're patient. Uh -oh. That was a gorgeous shot by Suzy. He had him pinned because he didn't go for too much, didn't try to rip the ball, hit it only about three quarter speed, and hit the absolutely perfect shot. That's why he's studsy punching. So talking a little bit. Tried to say he didn't have a mulligan. <laughs> Each team does get one mulligan per game, and it is for the team, so... Rocky will not get to use one this, this game. <laughs> this is just the gorgeous time of the night to play. We have shade on the court. There's a breeze. It's probably now like 74, 75 degrees. 
It is absolutely perfect weather. There's no humidity. We've got a nice big crowd out here watching four great players. All right, we got seven nine. So far, it's been seesaw every time there's been a side out. Let's see if Tom and Joe make the comeback. Cut it now. Oh, he has a whole middle. Come on. Are you kidding me, man? Wait. You can shoot any you want. You can fucking easy point there for Now, until you're not just right. And you're lucky enough. Let's play, Joe. I'll give you a list. I'll give you a list. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. You get in my way like that, I shoot all day. Do it. I love it. Seven, eight. 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 Uh, with Sudby, I thought it was an, a penalty. He had the right to take a full shot. There was enough time for the opponent to move. He chose to stay. And that's why Sudby had to hold up. Who's his right? Eight serves eight. Nine serves eight. Unforced there. Skip the ball on a serve that wasn't uh, aggressive enough that Joe shouldn't have been able to get a, uh, a really good pop on it. That is our match. Thank you all very much for joining us. Very we'll good. be back with the Mixed Pros in about 10 or 15 minutes. We'll talk to you then.